Hello dear friends, welcome back. It's me Srija Suresh and you are watching SS Math Solutions. In this section, we are going to discuss about the models of teaching. It is very important for all the teachers aptitude test. Okay, so we can start with a simple definition, an interesting definition from Joyce and Well. What is a model of teaching? Here, they introduced all the things about the teaching. Okay, so a model of teaching is a pattern or plan which can be used to shape a curriculum or course to design instructional materials and to guide a teacher's action. This is what model of teaching. So I will read one more time. A model of teaching is a pattern or plan which can be used to shape a curriculum or course to design instructional materials and to guide a teacher's action. So that is a teaching is an instructional or managerial or interactive activity that taken place in an educational institution. Okay, so I can define one another definition. It's also from Joyce and Well. They define teaching as a process by which the teacher and students create a shared, uh, shared environment including sets of values, beliefs which in turn color their view of reality. Yes, right, right. Teaching as a process by which the teacher and students create a shared environment including sets of values, beliefs. They are sharing their values and beliefs inside this classroom. So that is that which in turn color their views of reality. That is also a teaching. So this definition adds a new dimension to teaching learning environment. So some characteristics for teaching models. So first one is it is a sort of plans or guidelines or pattern or strategy of teaching right model of teaching means sort of plan or guidelines or patterns or strategies of teaching we know that teaching methods is a systematic procedure to modify the behavior of learner it is a scientific procedure learning outcomes in terms of observable and measurable performance of students these all are the characteristics of a teaching model then we are preparing models for teaching right so they are some functions they were some functions for this so functions of model of teaching so it help in designing of curriculum or courses of study that is the first function of model of teaching help in designing help in designing of curriculum or courses of study then help in achieving desirable teacher people interaction during teaching then help in the construction of curriculum or content of a course then useful to develop social efficiency and personal abilities of the students help in designing appropriate educational activities help in guiding the teacher to select appropriate teaching strategies techniques and methods these are the functions okay these are the introduction to teaching method then for every models of teaching we know that some models of teaching so every models of teaching there are some elements we already discussed four major components are included all all in all teaching models right so what all are the elements syntax social system principles of reaction support system these four were the important or major components included for all teaching models we can just check what is syntax Syntax we can call it as a facing of the model. Okay, the syntax or facing of the models describes the model in action. That is syntax can be described in terms of sequences of activities called phases. So syntax means terms of sequences of activities. Okay, that is syntax is the sequence of steps of activities included in the organization of the complete program of teaching. So everything for the all the organization or all complete programs what we are needed in for the teaching. So all the steps of activities are included in this syntax. Hope you understood what is syntax. So I will read one more time. The syntax or facing of the model describes the model in action. Syntax can be described in terms of sequences of activities called phases. Syntax is the sequence of steps of activities involved in the organization of the complete program of teaching okay so i am just giving a what is the basic thing or, or what is the smallest definition for each time or okay 
Next one is social system. Social system means it describes the roles and relationship between the teacher and the learner that all activities takes place. Okay, social system means the, it is a relationship or role between the teacher and the learner. That is social system. Next one is principle of reaction. Principles of reaction means it guide the teacher in how to regard the learner and how to respond to what he does. Okay, that is responding. To give guidance to the teacher as to how he is expected to react to each activity of the learners to suit the characteristics of the model selected. So according to model, which model we were selected to continue our class according to that what the principles of reaction the name itself what we can understand what is that right to give guidance to the teacher that is a guidance to the teacher as how he is expected to react to each activity of the learners to suit the characteristics of the model so according to that model if that is in Gore training or concept attainment model according to that model what we selected for completing our teaching hmm, that is the that we are expecting from the student part that is principles of reaction okay then next one is support system support system we know that it includes all the supporting things that easily can complete our teaching learning process successfully okay that is support supporting system that is the concept is used to describe the additional requirement of the model beyond the usual human skills and capacities and technical facilities necessary for the successful implementation of the model that is support system we can easily tell support system means it includes all the supporting things that easily can complete our teaching learning process successfully so here i am planning to give some models a short definition short explanation only so first one is concept attainment model second one is inductive thinking model third one is inquiry training model and the fourth one is advanced organizer model so concept attainment model first one we are looking for concept attainment model we know that who developed the concept attainment model it's a question jerome s Brunner. okay concept attainment model propounded by jerome s Brunner. okay so it can be introduced as this model emerged out of the study of thinking process of human beings okay the model is used to teach concept to students then assumption is that human being has a capacity to discriminate and to categorize things into groups that is concept attainment model so so what is the learning strategy means we can use pictures or word or actual object to present both examples and non examples of the concept okay so we are introducing a concept in the class for that some examples for that concept and some non examples for that concept that is uh, either that is a picture or word or actual object is it possible to show that is also we can use okay from that examples they need to identify which is that correct or which is not correct that is for as example and no example that is the basic thing behind the concept attainment model that is they have the capacity to discriminate and to categorize things into group that is concept attainment model okay that is during the strategy ask students for as examples to verify that they are getting the concept so so many no examples and as examples where we presented in this class and they need to identify or group which one is as examples then they are generalizing that concept or they are introducing to that concept okay this is the way we are studying concept attainment model or they we are presenting the concept attainment model in a class so for the concept attainment model so many merits and some demerits also there so merits means its development of reasoning okay we are showing the examples and non examples so development of reasoning then development of imagination then intellectual development is there then observation the students will actively participate so active participation individual attention self-study habit all the things are the merits of the concept attainment model okay some demerits also there demerits means 
absent minded sometimes some children were not present not actively participated right so absent mindedness there then wrong thinking non participation these all were the demerits okay so this much only for concept attainment model and next one is inquiry training model and the inquiry training model proposed by richard sushman it is also a previous question okay inquiry training model proposed by richard sushman its aim is to teach the students the art of independent inquiry in a disciplined way okay it aim to teach the students the art of independent inquiries in a disciplined way to develop the intellectual disciplines and skill necessary to raise questions and search out answers stemming from curiosity so it develop the curiosity in children's mind okay next one is it is used for giving training of inquiry to the student people inquire naturally when they are puzzled right when they were puzzled they will naturally arouse their questions from their mind itself right teacher plays a dominant role in presenting the puzzling situation in this section both teachers and students participate equally the method is that the students ask questions based on their assumptions so we will present a thing or concept inside this class with that concept the students started asking questions okay then based on their assumptions and also modify their questions on the basis of information they get from the teacher while answering others question this continue till the students find out the answer this is the inquiry training model structure so that is we presented a thing what we needed to take through uh, inquiry training model so the students ask their from their curiosity or we are creating a puzzle that is better okay so from that puzzling situation the students started to ask questions to the teacher also all the other students were listening that questions right so from that question uh, sometimes that questions answer is a is or no like uh, or the teacher will respond to that right so from that teachers responding uh, the students will identify the new concept and based on their assumptions they modify their own questions and they get to do their new or finding new finding from that um, environment or from that class that is inquiry training model inquiry training model proposed by richard sushman then for the inquiry training model some phases were there that is also asking for some question sometimes so the first two phase is encounter with the problem okay encounter with the problem is the first two phase second one is data gathering data gathering two cases where there two phases second phase is data gathering verification third phase is data gathering experimentation then after experimentation formulating an explanation then analysis of the inquiry process these are the phases of inquiry training model hope you understood this much okay then we are going to the inductive thinking model okay third one is inductive thinking model it is proposed by hilda taba okay hilda taba proposed this inductive thinking model that he she believed that students make generalization only after data are organized she believed that students can be make generalization through concept development and concept concept attainment strategies this model model proceeds from particular to general from examples to principles okay this is inductive thinking model so i will tell one more thing so she believed that hilda taba believed that students make generalization only after data are organized she believed that students can be make generalization through concept development and concept attainment strategies okay so so many particular cases or so many examples were presented from that examples the children need to generalize the concept that is inductive thinking model next one is very important advanced organizer model here uh, advanced organizer model proposed by ozubel ozubel's theory of meaningful verbal learning deal with the three concerns okay these through two questions were previously asked who proposed advanced organizer model ozubel ozubel which is the uh, meaningful verbal learning associated which with whom associated with whom okay ozubel okay so here we are checking ozubel's uh, meaningful verbal learning deals with three concepts first one is how knowledge is organized 
that is in the curriculum content okay how knowledge in the curriculum content is organized then how the mind works to process new information okay after getting a new information how that mind works to process that is a second concern third one is how teachers can apply these ideas about classification and learning when they present new materials to students instruction okay three things Advanced organizer model was developed based on Ozobel's theory of meaningful verbal learning. It can be only for verbal teaching and also be used for developing instructional material. It provides concepts and principles to students directly. This model is designed to strengthen students' cognitive structure. Okay, it provides concepts and principles to students directly. So, concepts and principles to the students directly in this advanced organizer model and this model is designed to strengthen students cognitive structure okay hope you understood this much the every points are important only important points are included here okay and for the um, advanced organizer model also three phases where they this also asked which one is the phase one of this advanced organizer model thus the this way we can they can ask so the first one is phase one presentation of advanced organizer model okay next one is presentation of learning task or material third one is strengthening cognitive organization three phases okay presentation of advanced organizer presentation of uh, learning task or material strengthening cognitive organization okay these are the advanced organizer models phases hope you understood this much so we discussed four models and from here i prepared some mcqs based on this teaching model okay so just i am reading the question okay let's remember how the answer came okay let's start first one is david ozubel formulated which model of teaching david ozubel formulated which model of teaching which model of teaching hope you got the answer we know that ozubel proposed advanced organizer model next one is the phase of learning in a model of teaching is the phase of learning the phase of learning in a model of teaching is that is the index or principle of reaction or support system or social system the process of the, sorry the phase of learning in a model of teaching is syntax okay syntax next question which is the first phase in the advanced organizer model which is the first phase in advanced organizer model now we discuss that one which is the first phase presentation of advanced organizer so presentation is the first phase presentation of advanced organizer is the first phase and the next question is the system that describes the activities of the teacher and the people and their mutual relationship the system that describes the activity of the teacher and the people and their mutual relationship that is social system okay next one is uh, who was the exponent of concept attainment model broner then who is the um, for who found inquiry training model sesman okay this names very important then which are the planning guidelines or techniques of teaching which are the planning or guidelines or technique of teaching models of teaching then models of teaching consist of focus syntax social system support system okay then theory of meaningful verbal learning propounded by theory of meaningful verbal learning propounded by ozubel okay next one is additional requirements other than the usual human skills of the teacher in the model of teaching is additional requirements from there itself the answer is there support system okay additional requirement other than the usual human skills of the teacher in the models of teaching is support system and i will tell one more thing uh, i saw this from one question that is dash is an example of learning management system not related to this one i am just telling this dash is an example of learning management system moodle okay m o o d l e moodle okay moodle is an example of learning management system okay so this my surely for today hope you enjoyed this section thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for future videos